it's Nancy today. I see some animal signs here. I think they're from a rabbit. Let's check them out together. I haven't really gone up close to look at them. Now see this at the bottom of all these branches it's been chewed at. There's the bits of chewings left on the ground. Now, we know that a beaver didn't do this, don't we? Because if a beaver did it, they would end in points. They would be... And the tops wouldn't be here. They would have been dragged away. Here it is over here again. Right down in the grass. Now, can a rabbit chew that low? You know, that's kind of doubtful. If, it was, if they were all up a little higher, you know, especially up where the snow would have been. The snow was pretty deep this year. So, I would think that these might not have been made by a rabbit, but maybe by a small rodent, some kind of a, maybe a mole, or something like that. There's a hole in the ground. Now, it could be that whatever ate them lived in this hole. What do we see? Can't really see any footprints, and we don't see any scat. Oh, yes we do. This is the scat, isn't it? Those little things. Oh, I've got a pointer here. Those little things there are the scat. And these sticks have been pulled into this hole. So whatever ate them lived in that hole. Look, there's some more chewed up sticks right around it. It's, it's killed all these trees. And you see, you can tell that the tree is going to be dead because all the way around it. Well, this one might not. This one might not be dead because it does go down here and it circles around. But at the bottom. I think it's all killed all the way around. It's, it's been scored all the way around the bottom. This animal had a good time this winter. It ate a lot of these trees. Look at this. I have no idea what kind of animal did it. Those were very small scats, weren't they? See what's at the bottom here. Ah yes. Some more scat. If you can see that. Very tiny little scats. Mixed in with the savings. Look over here. Okay, I guess time to get out the book. Find out what did all this. Up there. Oh, look at there. Something on those places where it's been eaten. Oh, I guess they're flies. You see the sap will now, the sap will come up as far as the bark will allow it. And so, and you see those flies are eating it. It is a bit shiny there. Interesting. These, this, it was a very, it's a difficult winter for a lot of animals. Because it was, so I would think that because these are all so low, either there was no snow or, which we know there was snow, there was a lot of snow, several feet. So whatever did this was coming up under the snow. Was, now you might be able to find little tunnels in the snow, those little bumps. Sometimes you can see where they've where they've walked along. I have to get down this hill. Sometimes you can see where they've walked along when there still is snow. But there seems to be no evidence of little trenches, do there? Does there? Is there?
see now nothing down in this hole has been chewed on but it would be a good place to live if you were an animal looking for shelter in the winter you could get back in there it's a little wet in there right now let's see what's over here well here's another hole I guess this is the foundation of something that we're standing on Well, perhaps he lived down in that whole area with these holes in it. This could be an entire building under there, an entire basement for an animal to get around in. And he certainly had access to all these places. Ah, there's a hole. Let's have a look at this hole now. It's pretty narrow. Yeah, I'll put my foot again inside it. What else have we got here? It's like a big sinkhole here. Be careful not to fall in. There's another one over here. Well, you can do this at home. Just keep your eyes open when you're out and see what you see. I'm in a town right now. I'm not even in the woods or anything. You can see all this damage done to all these trees. Something small did it. Now, I should think that if we get really close, I don't really want to kneel down on the ground. The ground is probably pretty wet from the snow that's it's drying up, but it's probably still wet. Now, if you were to kneel down and inspect those little teeth marks on the underneath the bark, what's left of it, you'd probably be able to see the size of the teeth and get a better idea. Okay, so something ate these. It wasn't a rabbit. It was something that crawls underground. Something like a mole. Okay, figure it out. Let me know when you find out. Put it on the comments. Nancy today, asking more questions.